Hi, I'm Mark Lux, Extension Weed Scientist with Ohio State University. This is just a short video clip to give you some ideas as you think about managing mare's tail this fall into next spring. I'm standing in a patch of mare's tail here in some corn stubble and I've got a range of mare's tail sizes around me here. And it's a really good illustration of uh, the type of mare's tail you need to be worried about at this time of the year versus those that are going to be killed by winter. Uh, and obviously as, as you look around we've got some, some mature plants here. Um, that uh, are coming to the end of their life cycle won't survive the winter. There's always some question about um, how big a mare's tail plant survives the winter and generally once the stem has elongated uh, at all as you see in some of these they should not survive the winter. I think occasionally there are some, some exceptions but plants that are still on the rosette stage anywhere from uh, this size here up to this size will will survive the winter and uh, take off and, and start off in the spring faster than those that emerge in the spring. Um, so those are some of the ones that you need to worry about. Uh, we recommend a lot of 2,4-D in the fall to control these plants. Uh, typically our research shows that very small plants, a pint of 2,4-D in the fall is adequate to control them. Uh, you can bump that rate to a quart for some of these larger plants, but we generally recommend uh, mixtures of 2,4-D with other herbicides. And the two strategies that work best go into beans because that's mostly what we're concerned about here. Typically seem to be 2,4-D with glyphosate. You can see you've got some other weeds in the field here, Cressleaf, Groundsel, and some other uh, weeds that the combination of 2,4-D and glyphosate will uh, be better than just 2,4-D alone. And, and keep in mind that glyphosate, even on glyphosate resistant mare's tail, is kicking in somewhat. Some activity on the mare's tail still typically, so it does beef up the 2,4-D. Uh, so that's one strategy, essentially a non-residual approach. The other approach um, that can work well, depending on whether you have ALS resistance or not, is to come out at this time of the year with 2,4-D with a canopy product, either canopy EX or canopy DF, and there are also some generic products of those called Cloak. Um, and typically, again, the 2,4-D is going to knock it down. If it's not ALS resistant, the Climeron and the canopy will help knock it down, and then that canopy can give you some residual going into the spring, uh, again, if they're not ALS resistant. And even if they're, they are ALS resistant, you can consider a low rate of the canopy plus 2,4-D approach to kill what's here with the 2,4-D. Um, that 2,4-D canopy will usually take out the rest of the weeds that are small winter annuals that are in a field on the dandelion. And then even if you don't get residual on the mare's tail going into the spring, you will get residual on other weeds, um, which is important, especially if you have a wet year when you can't plant late. So those are your basic two approaches, um, the residual and the non-residual, with either glyphosate 2,4-D, um, typically, or, or a canopy product plus 2,4-D. Um, we do occasionally get some activity on spring emerging mare's tail from uh, some other pre-products, but typically our research has shown that uh, putting money into other residual products, Fowler, Authority, Metribuzin, uh, what have you, Scepter, uh, in the fall. Typically, you, you don't get very much activity out of those in the spring uh, once you get away from canopy. Um, having said that, we have occasionally had some residual activity on mare's tail from Valor into the spring. Bottom line there, and the point I'm really trying to make is we don't really recommend putting a lot of money into residual herbicides in the fall. Um, it doesn't take a lot of herbicide to actually knock down mare's tail in the fall. Um, and so then, then you get into a situation where if it's not ALS resistant, a low rate of canopy can work pretty well. And if it is ALS resistant, almost nothing you use in the fall will really give you much residual into the spring. Um, so those are just some things to think about as you're managing mare's tail this fall.